What's going on everyone? I'm Brian Weber. Welcome to my latest YouTube video. Thanks for tuning in guys. Um, before I get started, I want to wish you all a very happy new year and I wish nothing but health and prosperity for all of you guys tuning in. And also before we dive into the video here, I want to thank each and every one of you for the support to help me get my YouTube channel over a thousand subscribers. I'm really stoked on this and I, I couldn't have done it without you guys. So I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. And in this video, I want to talk about the top five things that I think, it, whether or not you're a new trader or someone that's a little bit more experienced, but you're just, maybe you're struggling just a little bit because I've been there over the past several months. I've been working kind of uh, silently with coaches and other groups of people to get my trading back up to where it used to be and kind of discovering myself along the way of like what type of trading suits me best, my personality. So I want to talk about the top five things that I think will help you uh, really take your trading to the next level, uh, whether or not you're a beginner or someone that's more experienced. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so number one, learn first. I put this first, obviously, because it is one of the most important things as someone that is a beginner trader that needs to focus on learning before they start earning. You ever heard of that saying? It's pretty catchy, but it's also very true. Um, so you should be focusing on learning the best information and learning which type of strategy works best for you. Are you a futures trader? Are you an options trader? Are you a swing trader using shares? Uh, you have to really discover this over like a course of three to six months without using any of your money because uh, if you're inexperienced, you're more than likely going to lose money and not understand why you're losing it because you don't have any knowledge. So my advice uh, for this first point is focus on learning and ask questions. Number two, choose a style of trading that suits you. In this learning process, you should figure out which style of trading suits you best. Now, there's a couple factors that I would take into account here, and that has to do with what type of personality do you have? Are you uh, more into day trading? Do you have the time to do that? If you have a day job, you more than likely can't be day trading all day long because you have to start work at nine. Depending on the time zone that you're in, you have to start work, and uh, you need to have your full attention there instead of paying attention to the market. Uh, if you're and a full-time job, I highly recommend that you focus on swing trading because that opens up uh, a lot more freedom for your lifestyle and also for, uh, if you have a day job, it won't take too much focus off of that and you won't uh, like degrade in your performance. So you'll be able to balance the trading a little bit better that way. But if you have time on your hands, day trading is definitely something to consider. But um, I myself, stop day trading uh, for a lot of reasons, uh, mainly because I have a full-time job and working on my patience, swing trading has helped me a lot. And also I've always made more money swing trading um, just by sitting and waiting for the setups to form instead of trying to force trades through day trading. Uh, I always think that day trading is more susceptible to uh, your emotions coming out in full effect and kind of like sabotaging your trading. But I digress. Um, yeah, so Really try to figure out what type of what type of uh, trading suits your personality, suits your current life situation. If you have any questions, just drop a comment. I'd be more than happy to help. Number three, find a coach. Now this points more for like the ex people that have some experience trading and have tried their best on their own or within a group, uh, trying to uh, you know be successful at trading, find some consistency in their results and are still struggling, uh, definitely reach out to a coach, whether it be for someone that can teach you the technical skills and how to identify setups. Or like for me, I recently had met with a coach, Jared Tendler, who is the author of The Mental Game of Poker, and he's also writing The Mental Game of Trading. And he significantly helped me identify a lot of the mental game issues that I was having through uh, mental hand histories and identifying my anger profile to you know, stop myself from doing a lot of the stuff that was causing me a lot of money. Uh, only like one or two trades um, may, it wiped out like a lot of profit from the mistakes I was making. But I can't stress this enough. If you want to make this, you want to be successful at trading, 
you have to find someone that can help improve your game. It's going to cost money, but it's it's worth it. And if you're that serious about it, the money really shouldn't be an issue. But you need to find someone that can kind of take you to the next level, whether that be uh, like someone that teaches you the technical skills or the the enhance your psychology so you can get over those mental hurdles that you're dealing with. Number four, find a successful trading group and surround yourself with them. So recently I haven't been day trading much which is why I haven't been posting too many videos because I took a step back and I was with my coach Jared Tendler trying to identify and fix some mental game issues that I have and I realized through all of this I can just completely eliminate I would say 99% of the mental issues I was having just by swing trading and go figure like looking at my results and my trading history I've made all my money from swing trading or at least most of it consistently like over the years it's just growing you know and I tend to beat the market um, each year so that's where I've been putting my effort so when I wanted to take this a little bit more seriously I went out and found, try to find like the best like in my opinion, for my research, the best type of group that I could join that I know are successful, that have show, show results on a daily basis, and they're verified traders and have the experience in the industry. And I found uh, trading experts, Ben and Shake, and I've been learning in their program just to kind of uh, enhance my skills, enhance my knowledge. Like with trading, with everything, you're never gonna know everything, and it's, there's always room to learn more. And I've been, uh, I've made it through their program and I'm in their alpha chat now. And I really think, uh, it's not a chat that you're just gonna be like, okay, what do you think I should do this? And they're just gonna give you the, the trade to do. They really push you to do the work and actually understand how to identify setups and how to trade correctly. And uh, not just spoon feed you because that, that just never works. We all know that does if you've been trading for a while. So yeah, I highly recommend wh whatever trading that you're focusing on, day trading, swing trading, whatever, find a group that isn't just going to take your money, but they're actually going to go out take, go out of their way to help you get to that next level and actually care about your progress, not just take, you, take your money each month. Lastly, focus on being consistent, disciplined, and patient when you're following your trading plan. So for this one, if you don't have a trading plan, you need to get one before you even decide to start clicking buttons to enter trades because you should be able to explain to anyone in a sentence or two what's your A plus setup and you know why am I gonna buy this why am I gonna buy this stock and where's my stop loss gonna go? When am I gonna take profit? When am I gonna move my stop loss? You know, like for me my A plus setup, for example, could be um, I like to buy stocks that are in the upper right hand corner of the chart that are forming bull flags that have tested the same resistance three to like two to three times and I'm gonna buy the breakout with my stop below the like the, the low of the flag that would be my explanation for my trading plan but there's a lot more that goes into it like how you systematically take profits um, and show your stop and so on and so forth calculate your risk size which is also a big one um, so if you guys uh, have your trading plan and you know it works then just follow the damn plan and focus on rating yourself uh, whether or not you followed your plan correctly. And then if you do something, do something uh, that you shouldn't have, take note of it and learn from it. And I actually should include also in this last one, uh, you should be journaling your trades, every single one of them, and pay attention to the ones that worked really well and try to replicate those in the next stocks that you find that are forming a setup that you like. And also understand why the ones that didn't work out, why what you did wrong and what you did right. Even if it was a good trade, you lost, you know, that's what happens in trading, you move on. But if you lost because you became emotion, you got emotional, um, or you move your say you move your stop loss too early and you got shaken out and then the stock ripped, take notes of that and uh, take what you learned and take it with you into the next trade and improve upon it. All right, guys, that wraps up the top five things that I think will help you significantly in 2021 to be a more successful trader. If you guys have any questions, feel free. I'm always here to help and share my experience with you um, because trading is a journey. 
it's not a one-stop shop. We're going to be learning how to do this our entire life, but it's a skill that will pay, continue to pay us for the rest of our life. And uh, if you guys like this video, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends and family. Appreciate any support, guys, and uh, I will be back soon with another video. Take care and have a, a great rest of the new year. Bye.